right um going on with canto 20 um stanza 65 280 and there's a confusion i i think there's a confusion here because um they're they're saying like oh shit the only way we're going to be able to get out of this uh is is oh okay a guidon is the duke of Amon's son and it turns out yes that means he's related to um uh to alstofo they're you know, two two English guys, Guidon and Alstofo, just totally English names there. Maybe they were at the time. Who knows? There was maybe highly French culture there. So we'll think. But um, there's a thing here where it goes, I will engage to kill. The, like Marfissa says, like, well, you know, if the, even if they're more numerous than Xerxes' army in Thermopylae, you know, the famous, all the, the, hor the hordes of evil Muslim people coming up to kill those heroic Greek guys that you may know from the Frank Miller comic and the uh, Zack Snyder movie. Um, if um, even if they're big, even if it's more than that, I'm just going to murder everybody. And it's like, oh, Jesus, is that what we're going to have is just a bloodbath and they're just going to massacre this entire society of women. Um, but then Guidon answers her. Guidon answers her. There is a plan which may perhaps succeed if any can. Actually, see, now I fucked up. See, yeah, Guidon is the guy so okay i i'm i was completely i got confused there but who's talking sometimes you do that in poetry where you go from stanza to stanza and people have long speeches it's like who's talking now it's like okay guidon comes up with a plan which is uh she's got a woman's help i must appeal and there's a, one of his wives which um is turns out not to be Aliz alessandra the daughter of the thing but is Alur alluria a L E R I A Aluria spoke to such was the name of his most trusted wife. So not Alessandra. So I'm assuming a different, a different woman who wants to get away from this and live as his just monogamously as, as wife and not have to share him with other, other women. So she's going to get an armed vessel and on board. She took her finest clothes, hoping to leave for life, pretending that she wished at break of day to sail with her companions in the bay with, you know, all her good clothes. So, yeah, I guess that just shows confusion, especially, I guess, when you're reading it out loud, you're like, I'm reading this out loud, but I'm not, I'm confused. Should I go back? It's like, I try to pause that. And God, I coughed and hacked through that reading. That was a particularly horrible reading. I, I'm privating all of my readings of the, of the poem out loud because it is copyright material, copyrighted, newly translated material. But boy, I, I think the only reason I should get sued for copyright infringement is such is the horrible job I'm doing actually reading all this. Uh, yeah, yeah, that that would be my if I was an author, I'd be like, it's not that he's using my stuff without permission. It's that he's reading it so horribly on camera. Oh, my God. So spared of that, spared of that. And uh, hopefully the next thing that I read out loud once I've gotten through a whole of Orlando Furioso, which will be a while, uh, will be something out of copyright again. I I'd prefer to do that. All right. I've been Jay. More videos later.